Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another pretty cool Lego build. Today we're going to be finally updating some of these new uh, city buildings, specifically the corner building of the Photoshop and the recording studio. Obviously I have the little main street light and I just put in um, one of the little lamps on the side. There's still one in front that needs to be lit up. The gym all the way to this side uh, that we just put in recently also needs to be uh, kind of remodeled a little bit for the inside and uh, put some lights in there as well so between those two I also want to add a couple stoplights um, so that's going to be pretty exciting in the next couple weeks we're going to be doing the Avengers Tower finally we're going to be lighting that up I've been saving that for a while and I have a few days off coming up so we're going to be doing that huge project and then after that essentially the only thing we need to do is the police station and then the entire downtown area of the city is going to be completely lit up as for the stoplights and pretty much everything else, we're going to be using Bricks Max kits. Um, they actually just added some stoplights that actually go on and off and actually switch from green to yellow to red and vice versa. So it's pretty cool. They're actually going to be on like a little uh, timer system, which is going to be pretty neat. I plan on putting one right here where this main street sign currently is and then all the way to the side where the Lego corner store is. It's actually there right now. I'm trying to leave that for the end because uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit and I think I finally have a spot um, where that's going to look good right over here. I do want to add a couple more as well. However, it's $20 a piece to do these little uh, street lights, so that's a little expensive. But we're going to try and make it work today and try and get everything situated. But I am really excited to light up these buildings, and it's going to add a lot of depth. Again, there's going to be two street lamps over here that are going to need lighting up as well. As for the center, I've been utilizing, I believe, an 8 port system so I might update that to a 12 uh, port expansion as well so we're going to be doing a lot of housekeeping for the city today but essentially uh, preparing the power grid for more buildings and stuff like that so very exciting and then all obviously all the way in the background is the police station we're going to do him pretty soon as well and that way the whole entire bottom half of the city is lit up and done we are essentially done with the downstairs area of the city very soon. I might add one more small building from Bricklink over here, or rebrickable right to the side of this. Um, when we built that, I kind of left a gap with the larger curb. I can show that off a little bit better. With the larger curb, and I like the larger curb, don't get me wrong, but I think it would look better if there wasn't a gap in between those. Um, I did obviously light up this little lamp in the meantime, um, but I'm going to run a eight to 12 port system coming off of this building here, obviously to allow for the uh, little stoplight that's going again in this little corner, the two lamps and probably just two strip lights in here. Um, the little camera light to the outside, I kind of want to do a blue single dot, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, it's all going to be custom lighting similar to what I did with the uh, little apartment building over here as well as a couple of the others and I think they turned out pretty nice so I'm excited to see this uh, city fully lit up very shortly um, the only thing that is not going to get lights as of now is the haunted house um, I might do the street lamp to the outside of it but since the haunted house is kind of like an oddball there I'm leaving it alone for now um, I would love something different in terms of a skyscraper, but then the haunted house is also too big to go anywhere else. So I'm just a little undecided what I want to do with that massive building. I hate how the little elevator looks in the background. You can obviously see the chains, but it is what it is. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty exciting one for lights. I'm looking forward to going over each building and kind of what we're doing and then give an overall final look. So this is going to be pretty cool. It'll definitely take a, a couple days. I'm waiting on a couple more of the parts. So I'm going to start working tonight on what I have and then just kind of uh, figuring it out, maybe playing with some of the wires and rewiring a couple of the USB plugs. We're also in the process of uh, slowly lighting up the entire Hogwarts display, so a lot of light kits coming soon, but I'm very excited, especially for that Avengers Tower in the background. There's a reason I'm saving that for my vacation, because it's just going to be an absolute nightmare to light that thing up, but I've got the kit ready to go, and I know it's going to it's gonna suck, but I am excited to do so, and I noticed I punched one of the pieces of my uh, assembly square, I think, off, so I'm going to have to go fix that. But thank you guys so much for joining me for another build. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Helps the channel out a lot. Uh, feel free to become a member if you're interested in supporting the channel further, and follow me on Instagram where you can get some sneak peek looks at uh, not only stuff like this, but smaller projects and minifigure displays and stuff like that that I work on on the side, as well as giving me more input into what I'm building and vice versa. So thank you guys so much. Now let's get started on the build, folks. Alright, so here I decided to do 
like separate some stuff a little bit. Um, I wanted to kind of show off like each individual lighting project that I'm working on. So I did this first and I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Yes, they're still missing some tiles around there. Um, but this is about the lighting. I can do the details at any point. I had plenty of minifigures inside using uh, cool white little strip lights. Adhesive them to the top and they're pretty much good to go. I did borrow this street light from the corner uh, build over there, mainly just because this is part one and I wanted to do that um, afterwards and I kind of had everything in idea wise for this and I was waiting on some minifigures that are off to the side here for that gym, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, but I'm super happy with how this turned out. So we do have the street lamp. There's no way to hide these wires, unfortunately, just due to the way that this kit works. It utilizes three light colors, obviously, and then drapes down. And then there's actually a control panel inside the mills plate for this, and the cord is run separately um, down the side. So yeah, it is not perfect in every way, but I'm super happy with how it's turned out. Then up top, I just did a little one by one cool white light actually this is a warm white I don't have a cool white and I'm not really <laughs> not really trying to spend 10 bucks just to get one light that I need so I just did a little one up there kind of to add some depth to everything and I'm super happy with that also I ended up purchasing just another one of the assembly square kits which is like $47.99 I think it was um, obviously the assembly square is already done for us but it comes with so many good lighting parts and since this brand is apparently just like light my bricks switching over with some of their paneling and stuff like that I wanted this all to be matching what I currently have so I did order that and it worked out perfect especially for this one because I needed two street lamps and by the time you buy two street lamps it's already $20 so I figured I might as well get a whole kit and then just customize from there uh, before I forget on the side I actually lit up the little red one by one tile on the outside or not top but the one by one translucent piece um, above here for the record and I think that looks pretty cool definitely something a little bit different and something that I want to do more of with some of my custom lighting is just adding some cool details this is my absolute I'm most proud of that idea um, the little cool light no I'm sorry cool white. I'm so confused I just got done fishing for six hours and I'm heat exhausted very much so right now um, I did the cool blue and actually ran it down through the camera and down the side and I think it looks pretty awesome um, I was originally going to run this piece through the shop however I realized that that would be an absolute pain and there was no way with all these translucent pieces on the outside of the windows and doors that I could kind of make that happen so I ran it completely under here tiled it off and sent it around the corner so we'll never see it again for the inside you can definitely see some minifigures as well definitely one of the cooler parts of lighting and building up as you can see everything that's going on inside and then obviously for this light piece um, it actually does blink back and forth just like a working stopping light so very very happy with this so far I think it's looking great uh, the, I didn't add anything separate to it like minifigures or anything like that um, I added one from the set only now what I'm going to be doing with the gym next what I was kind of waiting on minifigure time I got some of the CMF figures first of all I needed a, I'm gonna have an athlete standing outside meeting and greeting people I think that'll be pretty cool secondly we have a punching bag in there so we needed a kickboxer and I kind of wanted it to be like Foot Locker where it looks like referees are working it so I decided to get the football slash soccer referee and she's going to be working the actual gym slash sporting complex I think that's pretty 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 cool I also did get the dog slash pet groomer as well she's going to go in the veterinarian clinic which obviously is already completely lit up but you know when I'm ordering bulk minifigures and there was plenty more besides this for Disney for Castle um, Ninjago all that good stuff I placed a pretty solid order uh, from somebody on eBay that I typically order from so it's a lot of fun I'm en enjoying this aspect of the city now where it's fine-tuning a lot of details um, obviously I love building this stuff but it's also really nice when you're at the end of a lot of this stuff to say hey now I can pick and choose from a million different minifigures and start building you know an actual city in an actual world I think that's pretty cool and it's something I definitely want to do more of because I'm happy with how many like I'm happy with the city but I want to add more stories I want to add more of depth to it and as we're slowly getting all the lighting kits done today um, and then of course again we only have two more after this which is going to be pretty cool then you can really start hammering out some details and more street lights and stuff like that and maybe moving a minifigure from here to here and populating the actual buildings because you know 
if it's dark, you can't see that the chef is actually inside there. You can't see that uh, there's a young artist like singing a record down there. Like it's it's cool that once this is lit up, you can see how depth, like the actual depth of the buildings and stuff like that. So um, that's another part of this video. I'm just gonna start adding some mini figures uh, to these builds as well. Just ones I've had a while, ones I've ordered specifically for it. Some random mini figures. My policy: if I'm buying something, I always get a mini figure with it. You know, they can range from two dollars to eight to a hundred. <laughs> you know, um, so I always try and add uh, at least a couple mini figures to my orders just to keep it going, and that way every project I can get something a little bit special. So I don't want to ramble on too much, but that's how the actual photo center looked out um, and recording studio, and I think it looks awesome. Very, very happy with it. Um, I'm very proud of like some of the little details in there, and, and of course, yeah, I could probably add a couple more things to it. Um, for instance, the center for a lot of my custom builds, I don't light up like little lamps or anything like that just because you kind of can't really see them when they're actually lit up. So I kind of focus on mainly just lighting up the whole building, not so much the smaller details. On the outside is where I'd like to put most of that effort. But yeah, now we're on to the gym, everybody. All right, everybody. So here's the final look at the city almost entirely lit up. Obviously, we did the photo booth over here. Uh, I keep calling it a photo booth. The photo center and the recording studio um, off to the side added a couple of those lanterns. There is one more little lantern. Obviously, off to the side, it's just a little bit hard to get the entire city in one frame. Um, I'm like back against the wall in my chair doing this. Um, I added a couple minifigures here and there. There's still some minifigures like up on the roof of Assembly Square that I have to put in, but oh well, they'll be okay for now. And then I do have the stoplight here and another stoplight over here. They're synced up to the uh, almost exact same timer. There is a little bit of a delay, which I kind of like. Um, wasn't supposed to be that way. I don't know why one is a little bit slower than the other, but hey, it happens. And then I did not do a complete close-up of the gym slash sporting center just because I did shove off the minifigures that were going to go in. And as for the lighting, I didn't do anything special. I essentially just put in um, two cool white strip lights. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, it looks a little bit different because uh, I did warm lights for the Lego store. I kind of wish I would have done um, cool lights for those. And then I really do need to light up the sit complex more. I think when I take that apart to build uh, Seinfeld or Friends next, I'll redo the lighting in there because I did two strip lights and I thought that would be enough. However, I need about three given, I, well, you know what, maybe even four considering it's such a big surface area. So that one's my fault for sure. Um, and then of course, next we do have the police station and the Avengers tower to light up. I'm still holding off on the haunted house. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Um, I'm not sure just again, because I kind of don't like it there with that chain in the background. I know I could take it off, but it's such a massive pain just to put in there that I don't entirely feel like changing it now. So I'm not sure. And, you know, moving all of this stuff now is going to be a pain. To get the Avengers Tower out, I'm going to have to rip out all three of these, or both of these module buildings. But keep in mind, this whole city block is wired to one, like, little semiconductor, essentially. Um, so, yeah, that's going to that's gonna be an experience. I'm going to run the Avengers Tower probably off of its own system, just to kind of put it on an island back there maybe connect it to like the police station or something but as far as I can tell I think the uh, the Avengers Tower is going to be a bear of a project but I'm really excited to see it done but yep so here's the final look everybody thank you guys so much for joining me for another build I think this project's turning out great and you know lighting up the city is definitely a nice stress reliever especially when it's done it's just it's beautiful I absolutely love it and we're almost there uh, the Daily Bugle is of course still the brightest beacon of the building but <laughs> beacon of the city but I have a feeling the Avengers Tower is going to get it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe if you can. Helps the channel out a lot. Tune in next time for more lighting upgrades, and I'll see you next time. Happy building, everybody.